Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm working with the Avanti Pro Dado Stack. I picked this up at Home Depot. It was $59.99. I was pleased to see that my Home Depot had them in stock. It comes in a wooden box. And these of course are the operating instructions. Tell you how to put the stack together. And in the, the instructions, it has a little uh, chart, but can't quite see it on the camera here. But I'll show you later in the video. So obviously, it comes with two cutting blades. Then all of your spacers, the various thicknesses. And then your chipper blades. Comes with one 1 16th blade, and then... All the others are 1 8 inch chipper blades. So the reason I bought the set was because I needed to make some of these tongue and groove um, siding panels for a structure that I'm building and uh, worked out pretty good. So like I said um, in the instructions then also on the back of the carton there's a, a, a chart that you can follow. You just basically find the thickness that you want, the thickness of the groove that is. So I want a half inch groove, it tells me I need two full cutting blades and then two eighth inch chipper blades. And then again, that chart is also included in the instructions. Blade one and blade two. Then we're gonna get two of the thickest spacers. So the instructions say to use the thick spacers between both blades. And then I'm gonna use two of the eighth inch chip of blades for one and two So on each of the blades, you're going to look for this side out and the direction of the arrow, the direction that the blade's going to turn. So this is going to go on the right side, and then this blade here, I'll say the same thing, this side out, and I'll show you the direction that it turns. I'm going to put this blade in first, and then a spacer, and then a chipper blade, followed by another chipper blade, and then a spacer, and then the last blade. And the instructions say to look for this line in the blades, there's four of them in total. And you're going to line up the chipper blade with that line. A little bit easier to see from this side. You're going to line the first one up with that one. And then you're going to line the second one up with the second groove on the blade. So here's a photo of the groove that I just cut. Um, I think for $60, the kit was well worth the money spent on it. Um, I had to make uh, numerous cuts for the siding, uh, for the structure that I was building. So anyway, I would recommend the kit, especially for $60. I think it's a great buy. Um, had to finagle with it a, a few times just to get the groove to cut just right. 
But overall, I recommend it. I think it's a good kit. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.